Okay, first stop of this crazy journey. We are not gonna tell you we're going yet, but first stop was in Georgia. We have a 17 and a half hour drive and it is to do something so exciting and epic that Bucky and I have been dreaming of for forever. You're not gonna believe it. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I thought the traffic was gonna be way worse. I did too. Um, we had a more difficult time going down to driving through Charleston to go to Hilton Head last year, or well, still this year, but yeah. that was worse than this. Uh, I think it's all just rumors. I think it's all the rumors. It could be also that it's 255 right now. <laughs> well, yeah. That's, I hate to see this place looks like at five. That's helping, I'm sure. There's, you know, I'm not towing anything either. Right. Um, are we allowed to say that? Oh, hint. <laughs> Easter egg. Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I know. And it says Sweet Home Alabama. I had Skinner playing. Sweet Home Alabama. Another state down. Quite a few more to go. Sweet Alabama. Mississippi. I don't know where we're going yet. Louisiana. And then there's one after that. <laughs> <laughs> Made another pit stop. Yep. <laughs> Is that our second or third? That's our second pit that's stop. That's our second stop. You need to go right there or no? No, that's the that's the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, we went to Bucky's. Bucky got a brisket sandwich. I got a sliced brisket sandwich, which uh, I had an Italian hoagie in my hand for starters. And then I heard him yell the whole like fresh brisket on the board and I caved. <laughs> but I, um, I got it that one time, you know, and I wasn't really that impressed. So hopefully they got, they impressed me this time. Yeah. And then I got this. Oh, what's this? It's called, what's Big it called? Red. Big Red. So oh, I think this is like local to Alabama, right? I'm assuming so. So, I, you know, when I'm, when we're in new places, I like to try the, the local fare. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's going to be a pretty good drink. You and know, it's funny. The Bucky's in Florence sell Sun Drop, and I yeah. always think that that's so crazy. I'm like, do all Bucky's sell Sun Drop? But now I get it. They like sell what's local yeah. to that town. They had a squirt as well, which isn't like any, you know, anything too crazy, but um, I don't know if they have that around where we live or not. I don't, I don't drink a lot of soda, so I was just, but on this trip, because I'm probably gonna need a little caffeine to get me through the I night. I meant to tell you I will switch with you. Oh no, I got you, Bone. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you, uh, well, I can't say yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like keeping it a secret. What's I've it? tried Big Red before and I think I really liked it. I, know, I feel like I've seen it before. What do you think? Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah? Give me a little bit of cough syrup vibes. <laughs> okay, well, you can't see it because it's 8.45 at night. But we're pretty sure we can't see it either. <laughs> well, I just realized that we're, I guess, like, we're so close to Louisiana now. And um, we started going over this big bridge. And I'm like, wait a minute. Are we are we crossing the mighty Mississippi? I think we are. Moment? I wish we could see it so if, badly. If this is the Mississippi River, man. This thing is big. It's huge. And y'all, the amount of bugs, it, look, it has looked like it's been snowing. That is how crazy you can see them in the windshield. Well, yeah. It's wild. We'll have a, uh, we'll share what the front grill and bumper looks like with y'all. Cause I, when we stopped in Alabama, it was already getting bad. And that was before we went through the bug snow oh, look. Oh. Is it gonna say it? Oh, there's, welcome to Louisiana. Woo! Yep, that was the Mississippi River. That was it. Wow. Um, also it's 8.45 and we're gonna try and call and get a hotel that's like an hour away. It's really 9.45 in our hearts. Yeah, we're on central time now. <laughs> Not that y'all can see us at all. <laughs> we're kind of getting delirious. We've been driving for how long today, Bunk? Uh, we're we're hitting the 12 hour mark of our, our road trip. And we were gonna go another two Three. and a half hours. Yeah. But uh, I think we need to call it quits. I think so too. Yeah. So we're gonna try and find Dolly, somewhere like an hour away. Dolly's getting tired as well. Yeah. Dolly's tired, Daisy's tired. Bunkies are tired. Bunkies tired. Daisy May say good morning. Good morning. It is 7.07. .07. We left five minutes early. Give me a high five for that. We've got four hours and 34 minutes to our destination. 
But first, if you can find me some coffee, I will be the happiest girl ever. <laughs> but first, coffee. That's right. Okay, we have successfully gotten coffee. I got you a hot vanilla latte. Ooh, nice. Sounds good, right? We got breakfast. We have three hours and 26 minutes left. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. I'm thankful that we uh, put in a couple extra hours yesterday to yeah. get us closer today. Yeah. We are doing something that is so exciting and we have like dreamed about this and wanted to do it for years and it's like finally happening today. So when I tell y'all that Bunky and I are the most hyped, the most excited, like ready to get there, we cannot wait. We are five minutes from our destination. Operation Lone Star. We have been in this truck for 17 and a half hours. Really more than that. Oh yeah. Literally uh, yesterday morning at 9 a.m. we were at the Atlantic Ocean and now we're in Texas. We traveled halfway across the United States of America. That's right, we did. Are buying an airstream oh my gosh and we just walked into it for the very first time and i will say it more than meet our expectations it's so cute and i cannot wait for you guys to see it our thoughts this is sweet it's so cool this is sweet it's so cool yeah bunky i'm obsessed i like almost am in tears can you imagine yourself sitting here just watching tv oh i can imagine it how cool is this wow Come, is, come back here and see more. We have great cabinet space. Oh yeah. I own all this up here. Uh -huh. You know, you know what people who uh, buy and go into RVs do, right? They open every, every drawer. Every cabinet. <laughs> is this not so, wild? Oh, this is wild. This is wild. I can't believe this is like what we're going to. We're gonna drive away with this thing. We're gonna thing. get to. Like, I can't believe we we get to have this. this it's is, crazy. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Go look in the shower. Mm. Bunky doesn't really fit in the shower, so he's gonna have to be taking some uh which which way is it? That way. Pull it from that from there. Oh, right here. Ah. I don't think you're gonna fit in there. <laughs> you're gonna be like sitting down. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> just very barely. You know, just smile. The the water's coming out here and Bunky's head's way up there. So I'm gonna like sit down for the top half. There's a little seat right there. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, so night one sleeping in the Airstream was a success. Um, I slept really good. Bunky said that he woke up quite a few times, but it is kind of different trying to get used to like sleeping in new surroundings. So we're staying at this place called The Range and basically it's an Airstream only place in Texas and they have all these vintage ones so you can rent those. Look at this one. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like that has to be like 19, 20, 1930s. It is so cute. Wow. Um, Or you can of course like, you know, bring your own. So it's such a great place. The campsites are super spread out. Like you are kind of in the middle of nowhere. We actually have no cell phone service. Like we are in SOS mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're leaving right now to go to get groceries and cleaning supplies and stuff. We do need to clean up um, the Airstream some and like, you know, mop and just wipe everything down really good. And we want to like get our stuff in there. So we want to make sure it's clean when we put our things in. Um, and we're hungry we need some food last night we got here and we thought surely this will be like around places it's like 30 minutes to the closest anything so we had luckily bread peanut butter and jelly so we had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches last night and some peanuts <laughs> and water and you know we survived but 
We're ready for some like good food. Look at that one, it's so cute. I love the little yellow awning. You know what I think I saw this morning? What? I think I saw two roadrunners. Uh-uh. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not an ornithologist. <laughs> but, uh, and I don't know my birds of this area that well, but I'm pretty sure they were little roadrunners because wow. they flew in and then they were just scampering. That is so cool. Yeah. I think I said this, this place is called The Range. And this is the first time we're seeing it in the daytime. It's absolutely stunning. Wow, they have this beautiful barn. So you have this massive fire pit over there. Kind of like where everyone can sit around. There's lots of solo stoves. I'm assuming this cute little vintage Airstream is like the little bar area. And then inside is where you can eat. And it's so pretty in the Christmas tree. And then look at how stunning this pool is. Wow. This is beautiful. All of that is for Bunky. <laughs> right here. Oh. Right here it's going. This is insane. This is the most beautiful Chile red I've ever seen. Really? I think so. Bunky's a Chile look connoisseur. At the, look at this fry. Oh my gosh. First time putting the awning out, we're a little nervous. <laughs> Never done this before and it's a little different. Yes, Bunky! He did great! But you know, he said, uh, hold it and then go to the sides. I don't know how far I was supposed to pull it out. I think that's good. I love that our awning is blue. I think it's so cute. Gotta get these support arms out, right? That's right. It's actually holding itself up really good. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then you shove it into place or no? Getting it now. Fully up. Just gotta put this middle section in there and we gotta figure out how to get this bar out. <laughs> We're learning, slowly but surely. I can't remember if this screws or pops. You just like pop it down out of there? Oh, there we go. You push down and then it releases this where you can pop it out. A little lock in there. Well, there we go. Then you pull forward a smidge. So we're locked and loaded. We are locked and loaded. Meanwhile, Daisy May is acting like it's 95 degrees out here. I know. It is about 75. That is a beauty. How stinking cute. All right, so we are in real time now. Going back, trying to edit this video, I was like, hang on, I gotta piece this together for you guys more. I'm sure your first question is like, why did you even get an Airstream? And we have talked about getting an Airstream for the longest time. Actually, Bunky is the one who has constantly tried to convince me <laughs> to get it's an me. Airstream. <laughs> And as you guys know, like this year we got the B-52 and we love it. Like we have not one thing that we can say that we don't love about it. It was our perfect RV. We just realized that we want to be able to travel a lot lighter because like travel days is hard with a fifth wheel. It's like that big, you know? And so for us, like some people love that. And if you want like luxury while you're camping and to have all the bells and whistles and yeah. <laughs> comforts, it's perfection. Yeah, I never really 
minded the size of it. You know, I was more than capable of traveling with it. Just that we learned for our style of traveling that that would have worked for us just fine. But we wanted to be a little bit more nimble in the way that we can move. Also, we realized like that fifth wheel is really big and it's just the two of us. And so we don't really need mm -hmm. something that big. So it's almost nice to have the Airstream, which is like a lot more compact and small. There's no slides, but it's very cozy. And it's kind of the perfect size for us. Mm -hmm. I feel like the uh, the fifth wheel was almost like we had our an apartment. We did. It was so big. And something that we love about the Airstream is like a lot of Airstreams are built to last. We were looking at newer ones, which are so nice. They're also very expensive. And we kind of found this like middle ground of finding one that was older because I feel like it had more charm and character. And it kind of gave us this opportunity to go in and like remodel it a little bit and kind of put our touch on it to make it ours. And that was something we did not feel like we could do with the fifth wheel because it was brand new. We're like, we don't want to touch it, you know? Right. So for being nimble and being able to travel easier and faster, for the fact of it's just like more our size and cozy and we can put our own touch on it and it has all this charming character and we hope that this is our forever RV. Like we want to keep this forever. Mm -hmm. I think when you become an RVer, if you are one, you kind of know this. I feel like your first rig is never like your long-term rig. Like you kind of get into it and just figure out what works best for you and your different traveling styles. And I feel like sometimes RVs fit you for like the season of life that you're in. And sometimes that changes. And so you kind of just like adapt to that. Yeah. And I feel- our, our season changed a little bit. It did. And yeah. I just feel like the Airstream is us. It's so the bunkies. It's so perfect. We're going to have it forever. Do all the things inside of it. So we got to tell you guys what we named our Airstream. One of our friends actually gave us this idea and I was like, wait, that is perfect. As you guys know, Chasing Sunsets is very important to us and not just within YouTube, which we'll get into later in this video, but also just in general, we have a lot of date nights where we go and watch the sunset. Um, I love being outside in the sunshine. I feel like just you know, the sun is important to us. So It just does something to you. It does something to me. It's always yeah. so happy. So, uh, we named our Airstream Sunny. And I just feel like it is so perfect. It fits her so well. It fits us so well. We've got Daisy. we got Sunny. we got the Bunkies. And <laughs> we're just one big happy family. <laughs> so, with all that said, we are actually about to head down to the B-52 right now. We need to get a few more things out of there. <laughs> We need to get a few more things out of there that we can put in Sunny. And um, I want to give you guys one last tour. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, so are you selling it? What's the thing? We are selling the B-52, so it is for sale when you are seeing this, unless somebody has, you know, purchased it before then. So we're going to take you guys along and do one last tour of the B-52. There she is in all her glory. <laughs> she is beautiful. That is for sure. I knew it. I knew when you came back and saw her. <laughs> So many great memories flooding back. I know. It is like, like I said before, it's so bittersweet. But when I look at her, I have such admiration. But <laughs> I look at Sunny and I'm just like in love, you know? Sunny, Sunny comes up to like, <laughs> right there. Not like, even, I, I feel like, like. jump up there and touch the top of Sunny. This thing looks massive compared to the Airstream. Yeah. It's a house on wheels, y'all. It definitely is. And a, it's so nice. A true home on wheels. Everyone probably is like, you had this brand new thing and Sunny's like older. I don't think we told you guys, but she's um, 2012. 2012. Yeah. But, uh. But we love her character. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right time for me to go into this information monkey, but I'm going to do it. Do it. With Sunny, it says 2012, but for the price point and the price that we paid along with the exterior condition and then the interior condition I mean the overall shape of Sunny it's like uh, a diamond in the rough it is truly I mean, she's a she's a gem that's how we drove to Texas to get her <laughs> yeah like it was a special find and it was random but um, she's we, she's uh, her future is bright yeah we did a lot of research and we looked at so many options. Yeah. And as you guys know, air schemes are really expensive. So it was like finding that perfect balance of like 
immaculate condition for the right mm -hmm. price. And uh, I mean, another thing too about Sunny was that, you know, Bunky doesn't absolutely love the modern and what do you call it? Like the, the look Interior? Yeah, of the, the brand new ones. Um, I would be fine with it, but <laughs> those are, as you all know, as we just said, very expensive. Um, but the one we have now, it feels like it's it's still new enough, um, like with its functionality and all that, that that's a real good thing. We don't have to do a whole lot of, you know, mechanical and uh, work on the bones, I guess. Yeah. But the interior brings you it almost it doesn't take you it takes you back in time but not too far back in time exactly like it, it takes us at least the way we feel about it to the perfect place <laughs> and along, along with some minor little yeah uh changes that we're gonna make it's gonna be it's just gonna feel awesome that's why it's like literally perfect it was the perfect price perfect condition way it looked on the side was perfect yeah otherwise we would not have driven 17 and a half hours to go get it yeah. <laughs> so pleased when yeah I saw it. it was I mean, kept under looks... covered storage i think yeah supposedly it was garage kept the whole time yeah. and it was only one owner so that was also lots of good things a big positive oh she's a beaut she's a beaut but i have to tell y'all i am looking so much more forward to travel days i just love something a little smaller yeah me too <laughs> This thing is huge. Can't wait to come back in. I haven't been in it with the slides <laughs> open in so long. Bunky, it is so big. It oh, is unreal. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We were hauling an entire apartment. I love it. <laughs> I love Sunny though. I do love Sunny though. But wow. you love this one? Look at all this floor space. It's in here. wild. I will say, the only thing I really, really am going to miss... Are these two chairs right here? Well, I do. I will miss the recliners. What? But having a fireplace. Fireplace? That's my fave. Yeah. We got a little space here, though. Yeah, we do. Wow. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It does smell really good in here. Should we have gotten rid of this? We are back to the brim. We got a ton of stuff out of here, which is nice because we've been in Sunny a couple of times now with like none of our stuff. So it'll be nice to finally have all of this. We've had so many great memories in here and it has just served us so well. There's the bathroom one more time. Man, that is a big shower and that is one thing <laughs> I know you're gonna miss. I'm really going to miss that big shower. I know. That was actually one of the selling points in us, you know, getting this one. Because... That shower is amazing. And then, of course, our massive bedroom, all this floor space. We had this huge closet. Still have a few things left in here. But that closet was also so nice. <laughs> miss that closet. Uh -huh. All your hanging clothes and all that extra space you got in there. We have I never closet. filled it up though. I know and we actually have a big wardrobe in the Airstream too. Like there's plenty of room for us to hang all the clothes we'll ever need. Yes. And I was gonna say one last thing that we're gonna miss is this mattress but we're not gonna miss it because we're getting a new one. <laughs> I was like I cannot live without our RV mattress. It's literally the best sleep ever and we had just gotten it before we realized we we're gonna get sunny i wish we had this in our house right now me too like, that's how much i like it me too so our first night sleeping in sunny without this mattress we were like nope ordering a new one <laughs> so we have a new one coming so whoever gets the b52 is going to be really lucky because they have a brand new mattress that was the very first thing that we did to upgrade sunny we're like nope not sleeping on this one we've got to have our rv mattress brooklyn bedding mattress it is literally the best and i have a great discount code to give you guys so if you go to rvmattress.com slash chasing sunsets and you use code chasing sunsets you're going to get 25 percent off and if you have not already made the 
upgrade. To upgrade your RV mattress, do yourself a favor. It's like having the comforts of home with you on the road, except for this one is even better than our mattress at home, like Funky was saying. We would rather sleep on this one. It's always like one of our favorite things. We get in here, we're like, yes, we're gonna get a really good <laughs> night's sleep. So anyway, you will love it. They have different sizes, um, depending on what size mattress is in your rig. They have different like firmness options. So it is customizable to you. Our mattress is a signature hybrid with a medium firmness and it is perfect for us. And I love that with our RV mattress by Brooklyn Betty Mattress, you get a 120 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and it's delivered straight to your door. Now, if you saw our thumbnail, we have two surprises in this video. So one, obviously going to get a new Airstream, having Sunny and selling the B52. But we also have another, I would say bittersweet thing to tell you guys. And this has been something that has been much, much thought and consideration. And we have spent the past two months just like really going back and forth on making this decision. So I'm sure there are quite a few of you who uh, found us just through YouTube and enjoying RV videos. There's probably a lot of you out there who are part of our other YouTube channel already. Yes. And we found last year that it was kind of difficult to manage the two simultaneously. So if you've been around for a long time, you used to watch our RV videos on Bunky's original channel yes. anyway. And we're going to actually go back to that where we're going to put those back on Bunky's original channel. Yeah, so we're not going anywhere. We're still going to share all the travel, everything Sunny related, all of the upgrades we do to her. Like, we're so excited to continue to share RV content. We're just going to put it back on my main channel. I know if you watch over there, a lot of you probably noticed we had less videos, especially towards like the end of the year. And it was because it was so hard to travel and have this other channel and do mine. And so we're like, let's not make it hard. Let's make it really easy. And I think we're gonna have a lot more fun that way and have so many more videos to share with you guys that way. So Chasing Sunsets is coming to an end. This video, I'll keep it up, but we're not gonna post here anymore. Right. But from this point going forward, all of our travel and RV content will be over on my main channel and it's just Jessica O'Donoghue. So our travels are not in here. They will continue and we're so excited to bring you guys along for them this year. We have a lot of really fun trips planned. I hope you have enjoyed this channel. I hope you will come over to my main channel and follow along with us there. I'll have it linked down below. Also, do not forget to check out RV Mattress. It's rvmattress.com slash chasing sunsets. 25% off your RV mattress. Trust me, you will love it and thank me later. I love y'all so much. I don't really know exactly how to end this video because it's like the ending of an era. Well, it's, I, as I said a moment ago, it's just goodbye for now. And we genuinely appreciate all of you who have come along and joined us for the journey. And we yeah. really hope that you not goodbye. Just come on over. Just come on. Just over. come on over. Okay. Come, come play with us over here. We love you. Come on over. <laughs>